Hello everybody, it's me, the friendly Englishman, back with some more Total War Warhammer 3. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you haven't clicked the like button, that would also be tremendously appreciated. Right, carrying on from exactly where we left it, I believe. We just clicked the end turn last time. Um, we did get uh, some new contracts might get something interesting constructed a fire shrine and we've got some population points to spend we have almost got rid of all of our immediate threats okay we can probably confederate shark tooth so I'm not going to kill them for now yeah, we'll take money and we'll take military access. Norskans, not worried about them. So the Count's on an even level with us power wise. Yeah, we look quite similar. Similar strength, rank. But what we've got that he hasn't is Scrag. Who kicks ass fighting at sea and can move incredibly far? He's actually a really good pirate, <laughs> Scrag. He's working very well. I'd like to come down here and have a look. We're gonna have to scout. Uh, interesting. So we've got some building options. I think we go tier 3 there. We get that up to tier 2. Fire Cave's doing a great job. Stabilising stuff. Okay. I think we can bring Flabby and Scrag down this way pretty safely. There's nothing coming at me from behind. We were in a really good start position actually. Didn't think about it when we started the campaign, but this is an incredibly secure starting position. We've literally got a perfect barrier behind us, uh, and we can push on. Brilliant. And I, <laughs> I won't pretend I knew that was going to happen. That was a complete fluke. Okay, so let's bring Flabby up a bit. We'll get some information from him. Okay, so I don't really get as much as I would have liked. We're going to have to send the Hunter out. What is going on down here then? We've got a settlement there. That is the Citadel as well. Right, we're going to... Uh, Okay. I am denied. Do we risk it all in one big fight? Yes, we do. We're going to charge on up. Okay. And then we're going to strike out from wherever next turn. I think we need to bring up uh, another lord. Uh, there he is. No, oh, Flabby is the trait. We can get another guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, well, I'm afraid it's got to <laughs> It's got to be this guy. Moobs the farter. Well, we're going to rename him, aren't we? I think Farta Moobs is uh, pretty good. Farta? Yeah, nice. Straight in with a big... 
Yeah, that's pretty good as well. The Pit Fighter experience game. Loving it. Oh, camp location. I guess the next one's going to be on the Forbidden Citadel. Yeah, I'm not going to build another camp yet. Uh, let's just keep giving him the cheap stuff. I've got no other recruitment options. I'm a bit skint. But we need another army coming up for re just in case I've got the money. I can't launch an invasion and then not commit financially to back it up, so we will. Alright, you want to get this. Capture the wreck of the Tariq. Raise that. These contracts are just not very good, are they? Right, so that's quite a ballsy play from me. I hope I don't come to regret this. A scrab and flabby right next to each other. That should be too much. Yeah, interesting. Look at that. Immediately try to get peace. How about no? Yeah, so that was a bold move by me, but it's worked because now we are in their lands. They probably should have attacked me then. Not sure. They might have been able to direct two armies into one army. Sprag has got to hit this. Close to feet at the moment. We'll bring up real reinforcements and we're going to have to fight it straight away. Okay, that should work. Good, good. Just got them on the land. Yeah, definitely not giving them AI control. I wish it was out in the open, but I think we're actually going to have to attack. I think Vampire Coast <clears throat> pretty good on the defence in settlements. They, yeah, I think they are pretty good. You've got cheap things that you can use to bog down the enemy and get good use out of your towers. You've got good ranged units. You've got all of the undead shenanigans. Um, you've got some great artillery, like Queen Bess. I love that artillery piece. Right. So let's pull out the damage stuff. Hold that back. That leaves us all of this, which I kind of need to wait for. Oh, can we actually just. Oh, we can just charge straight in. There's no walls. Well, with that, we definitely want to wait then, don't we? Oh, I miss half my army over there. That's okay. He's got a lot of winds of magic. Uh, kind of luckily. Not entirely sure what from. 
because one of his items he's got uh, Scrag's giving him oh yeah it was that book of arcan it's like plus 40 winds of magic otherwise he'd have almost none right so the second army can do most of the heavy lifting here but we're pretty much going to launch everything in Uh, do we just try on a minute? Hang on a minute. Do I want to force my way through here? I've got a lot of firepower, but I think I've got the summon to get over. Yeah, I think we're okay with the summon. Uh, let's take all of that and we're going to gun it in there. Damage stuff we'll bring out here. We'll charge it in later. We'll chuck a stone shaker on there now. Maybe he wastes some magic healing them. Oh, he's got the um, vampire coast law of magic. Law of the tides. I can't remember what it's called. Law of the deep. That's it. Okay, these guys are going to get crushed. Pole arms or no. We don't really care. In my sights. Hunt them down. So I hunt. I hope this does some damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that did some damage. <laughs> okay. Just got to break through a few things here. That more was pretty impressive. I've completely ignored that massive blob of troops there. Oh, what's going on over here? The bats have damaged. All oh, right. The uh, damage units I hit at the back, I've not noticed, and they've actually taken more damage as a result. So that's gone pretty badly. Let's get into the enemy lord. Ooh, that was a painful spell. I am going to drop that. Let's get the summon out. And uh, we've got a heal spell available. Uh, okay, that's all fine. Can I get these guys back without losing them? I don't know. Looks like we're going to have to recruit some new units this turn. Let's get the skirmishers up this way. Enemy Lord is very much in my clutches now. Let's get the leadership debuff going. Alright, he can cast two, I forget. Not done a bad job shutting down that shooting. Let's try and get the stone horn out. Uh, anyone need healing? Particularly. Is the enemy lord dead? Not yet. 
Yeah, disappointing bit of firepower coming out there. Okay, never mind. Not every battle is going to be going perfect. We had a really good turn last time out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, and I'm going to heal him. Almost died then. There goes the Lord at last. That was close. Oh, some of those units have taken a beating. I've got a lot of units not doing anything, which is never great. Let's tidy that little pocket of resistance up there with a well-placed spell. Boom! See you later. Just the animated hulks, which I think, uh, yeah, they're gonna. Oh, they should crumble. Yeah, they will crumble. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> a bit of a mixed bag there, guys. Bit of a mixed bag. Not my finest performance. Got the job done. Oof. I do need to recover. I need to get my replenishment rate up for Scrag. That's for sure. Scrag got 250 kills. Killed the enemy lord. Did some great damage with the spells. They got 400 kills on their lord. Jesus. At 220 on some bombers. I must have just not been paying attention. Um, let's loot. Uh, so Flabby's got a bonus against Vampire Coast. That's good, because I think we're going to be fighting them for some time. Right. That's disappointing that he's over there. And likely going to threaten that. Cool, so we got him out of the... Oh, have I just killed him? No. I might have just killed Flabby. Oh. I'm just trying to get him out of range of... Um, the attrition. But obviously I put him in range of Catherine now. That's quite a bad mistake. What can I do to help with that? We'll give him Blood Gruel. <laughs> Farter moves. I wonder if we can get Shark Tooth to join. That's why I like you. Uh, okay, well, let's do join more. Seventeen thousand. It's a lot of money. I don't think it would do much. 
No, I'd rather spend that 17,000 recruiting. Um, let's keep going with the Noblars. That army's still going to lose, even if it had two units of ogres in there as well, it'd still lose anyway. So let's just keep saving money with it. Yeah, Scrag does need some more replenishment. Uh, we could probably sacrifice to the Great Moor too. Okay, so we take the Great the Moor feasts. I forget, I haven't been using that at all. Oh, what I should have done is built a camp. That's a, a big mistake. I should have built a camp with this army too. I shouldn't have taken them off. Right, we've got buildings to upgrade. Definitely that one. I might as well repair this at the moment and then we are safe to end the turn. I'm a little bit exposed here from my own mistake. Am I going to pay for it? Yeah. Yes, I am. Mm. Do I lose this though? I think I can kill the enemy lord. And then as long as I get into combat, yeah, we've got a chance here. We've got a chance. Speed. I'm going to spend a bit of food. Right, and we're not going to wuss out. But we are going to skirmish a little bit with my lord. We're going to try and get them to detonate that bomb guy on their own. A bloated corpse on their own troops. Right, start deployment. I think if they are... Yeah, I guess I want to come up from this side, so everything over here. Yeah, I'd much rather I was on this hill than they were. We definitely want to bring everything up. And if I can get into these fell bats before they get into me, that would be great. Yeah, okay, so there's his spirit leech. I did feel that one. Got quite a few casts as well. Oh, right, well we can get right. We're going in to their units here. If I can reach their melee, we're going in. Because it's at the bottom of the hill. Okay, so far so good. Not the best skirmishing over there. Where's that bloated corpse? He's coming. Oh. Run from the corpse. Yeah, 
You go and trigger that corpse. This might work. Yes, that exploded. Perfect. That worked super well. Okay. That worked really well. So I'm pretty much in combat now. They've got some range units out in the open, but they're not going to be able to use them very well. Uh, I need to kill the enemy lord as well. I'm going to go for the damage. Just to help me chew through this a bit quicker. Got our heal. Beautiful. Oh, sorry guys, didn't mean to do that. Let's try and get some of these ogres out round the back. And we'll try and get them into... Um, into those range units over there. I think we've got one out at least. the enemy lord. Time to focus him down. They did manage to shoot quite a lot. Oh, disappointing. Disappointing over there. Boom. Lovely. Oh, you having a good time. <laughs> His army's done. Well, that went from bad to good. Relatively quickly. I thought I was going to lose the army. We haven't. It's gone the other way. We've actually gained some XP. And other resources I wouldn't have had if I didn't make that mistake. It still would have been nice to be able to build a camp this turn. But there we go. Okay. Nothing going on. Interesting, I thought more would be happening now. I thought the count would have been more of a problem. But it's looking like we're going to end this episode on time for once. So yeah, there goes the save on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Goodbye.